Good day, folks. I figure before I throw it out, I might as well autopsy this torque converter and show you just how it works. I still have the uh, input shaft assemblies and oil pump from the automatic transmission that I dismantled a while ago. Uh, I forgot to autopsy this oil pump, so I'll be taking that apart as well. And I'll demonstrate just how the torque converter drives each component. Okay, well, the torque converter normally bolts onto the drive plate of the engine. That's obviously a crankshaft. And torque converter housing and oil pump are spinning at engine speeds at all times. The oil pump drive is just inside that little rubber bushing down there. You can see one of the rectangular keys. I'll dismantle this afterwards. But the uh, body is rotating at the same speed of the engine. And these larger splines here are part of the oil pump housing, which is stationary. So that part of the torque converter remains stationary. The converter has a lot of fixed fins on the uh, rear half and well, this is your uh, stationary part. This remains in position with the oil pump housing and transmission housing and everything. That does not spin. There's a couple of thrust bearings on it. And this is the moving part. This is the transmission input shaft. It's not very big, but that is what drives the car. It uses uh, fluid friction or resistance through these fins to actually spin this part here. It doesn't actually mechanically lock in place like a regular manual transmission clutch. There are springs and take-up bits on it. Brass bush. Thrust bearing. Not a lot to them. And it's just dependent on fluid to create enough resistance and spin this inner piece. They do multiply torque at low speed, unlike a regular manual transmission. That's about it for this one. It's just in a backing plate. There goes the oil pump. the oil pump section slotted into place. See that doesn't move. And this component fits on. Well there is a bushing in it so maybe it does move a little bit. Oh it's got a one-way clutch on it actually. <laughs> Silly me. As you can tell I'm not an auto trans specialist but it only goes one way. So yeah, it can't rotate in the opposite direction. Well, there you have it. That's the uh, torque converter for an automatic transmission. And that is the Autotrans fluid pump, which is driven at the same speed as the engine. You can see that's the drive gear there with the square keys on it and it's just basically a gear type hydraulic pump fluids forced through this passageway here uh, I can't remember which way this one goes but there's a big passageway here, here and here as you can see I'm going to get the gear out there's two passageways in and one out so I'd say that's the discharge high pressure side Just 
it on top like so. Thanks for watching folks.